right, we are at Singapore airport. Sleep deprivation for 24 hours is not the best idea because the flight should be better accommodated. I don't know, next time maybe I should just split it to the half and stay in my hotel. It's feel a bit clunky. I don't know. How about you, Ginger? Tired. Can't wait to sleep. What about what's next after that? But what the ginger is basically trying to say is that tomorrow, um, this time we're gonna be dropping the hammer in the trails and running wild. 30k? Around the 30k though? And probably racing for a podium. Let's Maybe. see if that happens. <laughs> So it's 4.36, just woke up and getting ready for the race here in uh, Mount Bromo, Indonesia. We're in an altitude, let me just show. We're at 6,735 feet and the oxygen levels are limited to 77% of the usual norm. As you can see, 16.2, which usually would be 20.1. So, let's see, I think it might be a bit harder to power through, and in theory, it should be harder by 30%. But again, don't know, let's see how that goes. That's the only obstacle I see in this race, at least for myself. Alright, so we are race ready. I have my hydration pack we still need to fill in. Uh, I'm gonna go for like 1.5 liters of electrolytes inside. I have some nutrition, my phone, headphones, I feel lonely on the trail, buff by Cerebon runners to represent the local running club. Some compression, as you can see already wearing some shorts, Spartan top, uh, Salomon Sun 6, soft ground, gators because we're gonna be running through lava ash of the volcanoes and we're gonna be running up the active volcano which is interesting. Then I have my bib, which you need to apply. The most beautiful thing about Asia that it's 5 a.m. and it's already bright and that peak is where we're headed today up and down and I'm always sideways it's gonna be good hopefully we're gonna go up that thing which is erupting, vol erupting volcano we're gonna go all the way up at, at the brim apparently it's not dangerous at all we're gonna see how that goes and then we have all the desert full of volcanic ash. Continuous all around the brim. Some people are doing 170, some people are doing 100 or 70 or 30 kilometers, we chose 30. finished the 30k. I think I arrived just after top 10. 
have no excuses apart from altitude, uh, lack of climbing skills. Kill the downhills, uh, proper hammered it and just got so demotivated in the desert that volcano ash got put it in the lungs. I can still feel it heavy, but yeah, it's quite empty for now. It's only like maybe 15 players came in waiting for the Princess Helena and my friends Daniel and Grace to arrive. Probably gonna check live results to see if I can take a shower before. Oh, more players coming in. It was hardcore for brutal pours, absolute brutal. Too many branches, shed some blood. The scratches, otherwise all good. Love it. But I'm probably gonna come back, but not for 70 or 100k. So here's Daniel is eating after race meal after 70k which is street food meatballs tofu and noodles I guess Jauh depan saya saya enggak 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 ngelihat Prancis itu enggak ketemu It's delicious Ini dari start udah jauh 